All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of The Wheel of Foot Tune. It's episode 25, the quarter century, the Fun Fun Houser. Before we crack on with the episode and spin the wheel, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is lynda.com, the online learning platform with over 4,000 on-demand video courses, 100,000 tutorials, all designed to help you pick up some essential new skills. I'm going to explain more later on in the video about how you can access some of these courses via a 10 day free trial. But first things first, let's spin this wheel. Right, here we go. Bang. We have got just over 6,000 coins available to spend, but what will the wheel give us on this special 25th episode? Based on the way the first series went, we were about halfway through. It took us about 49 episodes to win the Division 1 title last time. The wheel was going to give us challenge time blue. Okay, it's a challenge. Oh, let's see what we get. FIFA challenge, come on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It says none other than One Nation. Use players all from the same country only. So it's simple, they've all gotta be from the same country. If I win the game by three goals or more, I get five packs. If I win the game by less than three goals, I get three packs. If I draw the game, nothing happens. If I get a point, obviously. And if I lose the game, I lose my lowest rated player from the match. It's as simple as that. The One Nation Challenge is upon us. Let's play. Okay, I've decided to go with England as my nation. That was probably the country I had the most players from. And the team's not that bad. We've got Joe Hart in goal. We've got our leading goal scorer, Danny Ings, up top. We've got higher quality performers from this series, particularly in the early parts of the series, in Jason Punchin and Jack Rodwell. I wasn't sure if we'd see them play again, but they're back in the team. Maybe for their last performance ever, Unless they shine. We've got Jordan Henderson. We've got Marky Notes from West Ham. We've got Cameron Jerome up front, who's not slow. We've got Gibbs, Stones, Smalling and Walker. And a lot of these players are starters in my BPL squad. I think we can get a result with these boys. On the bench, we've got the likes of Lampard, Oxlade, Chamberlain, Lalana, ready to come on if needs be. Let's play. Right, my opponent is Arctic. He's got Team of the Year, Modric. Right, he's got Inform Bale, second Inform Bale. Inform Godin. He has got Neymar, Iniesta, Griezmann, Alves, Boateng, Alba and Neuer. I mean, that's an unbelievable team. Did I mention he's got Vidal? Wow. Oh, what a touch. What a touch. And I'm 1-0 down after six minutes. I mean, I can't compete with that. Is that Neymar? It's Neymar. I've got Cameron Jerome. Great pass into Jason Punchin. He's going to hit it. Jason Punchin! Oh, my God. Cameron Jerome. Cameron Jerome's gone through. Bang. Through ball for Jordan Henderson. Hit it, Jordan. Off the woodwork. No. Danny Ings. Interesting knock to Rodwell. Take it down. Jack Rodwell. Hit it. Off the other. I mean, we've hit the woodwork again. For the second time in 25 minutes. Kieran Gibbs running down the left-hand side. Kieran. Keep going. Look inside. Bang. To Jordan Henderson. Jordan. Pull it back. Still got it. Jordan. Find someone. What is that ball? Mark Noble picks it up, though. Oh, it's Marky Nobes of West Ham. Marky Nobes. Oh, Marky Nobes, what a goal. The West Ham boy comes through for me on the stroke of half time. Come on, Marky. It's Marky Mark and the funky bunch all the way to the bank and back. Look at this. He goes round people for fun. Bangs it in past Neuer. That's the West Ham way right there. Here's Jason Punchin. Round one. Hit it on that left peg. Jason. Oh, my God. Anyone but Neuer and that's in. Play that through ball. Bang. Danny Ings. It's goal time, Danny. Add another one too. That's got to be a penalty. I mean, it's just ridiculous they don't give that as a penalty. He was winding up to shoot, and he got his legs swiped away. Got to be offside. Is that not offside? Are you kidding me, man? Not now. Not now. Oh, you're kidding me. In the 84th minute, this guy does not deserve it. I can't believe that ball was onside. And I'm going to lose this game. Are you sure? Oh, it's all over. It's the final whistle. We're going to lose a player, but the moral victory was mine there. I was much better than him. Unfortunately, they don't give you any points for moral victories these days. Uh, Henderson got man of the match, 8 out of 10 for him. Obviously the goal was for Mark Noble, but we're going to lose someone and the lowest rated player uh, was actually Kyle Walker. Dang! 5.2 for Kyle Walker. He's actually a starter for my BPL squad, but we're going to lose him as he was the worst player in that performance. That is a shame. We had double his shots, but it wasn't to be. And this is probably going to be a relegation battle now. Just trying to stay in Division 3 as opposed to going up to Division 2. I don't think we're ready yet. Kyle Walker, it pains me to do this, but goodbye, my friend. 90 pace, no longer for me at right back. Right, now it's time to spin the wheel. Bang, we have got 7,257 coins in the bank. I uh, don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that coinage because it depends what the wheel gives us. 
And what is it going to give us? Obviously, we've got Blue Challenge time, the FIFA Challenge for the last episode, which we lost. What's it going to give me this time? It looks like it's going to be... Okay, open three packs. I don't mind that. Here we go. Pack number one is going to give us... No, it needed something better than that. Jeccarini, formerly of Sunderland. I mean, I don't want anyone there. I just don't want anyone. Don't want anything to do with that pack. I'm quick selling it all. Let's go. Pack number two. And it's going to be a centre-back from Thiago Silva. David Luiz. Okay. He will slot into my league R squad nicely. Obviously, we lost Ibrahimovic last episode. His loan ran out. But we've just got a really good centre-back for that team. So, David Luiz is in for league R. Lovely. Quick sell the rest. And the third and final pack will give our centre-back... Hello, Mertesacker. Okay. Not sure... If that 31 pace is going to get him in my BPL squad. But we'll take him as an option. Take that 3% fitness as well. And I think we'll quick sell the rest. Right then, for my second game of the episode, I'm going to use my Italian league squad. My Serie A squad. I haven't used it in a while, but it's always done well for me. I'm bringing Salah back into the team. Last time out, I gave Quadrado his debut. He wasn't as effective for me. He didn't do anything in that game. Whereas Salah, I think he's got a couple of goals to his name in four games. So I'm going to give him the chance. Quadrado's a super sub. To bring on. Inform Perisic is there. We've got Backer up top doing well. Come on the Serie A boys. Okay, who am I up against this time? Gilson family. He's got on loan Diego Costa. He's got Sterling, Walcott, Rooney, Fabregas, Schweinsteiger, Clichy, Rojo, Cahill, Walker, who we just lost of course, and the Belgian Courtois. Salah, get on that. Here we go. Here's Salah. Cuts inside. Come on, Salah. This is why I'm using you, Salah. It's a lovely ball over to Jovino, who's going to bring it back in. Jovino, oh, it's great play from Jovino. Oh, it's a lovely goal. Salah started it. Jovino did the assist and backer with another goal. I think his sixth goal now overall. And 1 0 to us. Great play, boys. Love that. Oh, no. Terrible defending from me. He's cutting me open. He's cutting me open. He's going to score. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he is. He is, yeah. It's a drag back goal, much like my own one. Quite similar, actually. But, I mean, that was poor defending from me, really. Backer, bang, looking for Jovino, a lovely ball, Jovino brings it down, still got it, Jovino, put it back in, hit that, and again, hit it again, off the bar, put it in the net, oh that's outrageous, and he's given a foul against me, that's a joke, three times I've hit the woodwork now in less than one and a half games, terrific, Salah, win it, great first touch, get the one two, here we go, Salah, constantly causing them problems, at all times. Look at him. He just runs rings around him. He's going to get a penalty. Yes, he is. I mean, that is why I play Salah over Quadrado. Because he does these things for me. Pjanic is on it. Bang. Pjanic, stick it in for me, please. Pjanic. He does not miss them. Come on. We're back in the lead. 2-1. I'm consistently decent with my Serie A squad. I think I need to use them more. Bang. 1-2. Here we go. Jovino's going to get there. Play that through ball. Hit it first time. Oh, through goal. Open goal. I don't know how that happened, but it got through to Salah. He's now scored one, played a big hand in both the first goal, two goals. I mean, he's been amazing. Salah is flying. Best player in this squad. One of the best players in the series, arguably, so far. Radu. Down the line for Jovino. He's going to go through. Jovino walks it in. Time to score, Jovino. Bang. Oh, my God. Wicked, wicked deflection. I'm not sure if it was going in or not, but it has gone in. 4-1. I feel for the guy. But I am the uh, the worthy winner here, for sure. Javinho does this bit really well. I'm not sure what his finish was like. I was trying to go in the other corner, but it came off Rojo. I'll take it. They are giving it to Javinho, though, which is nice of them. Perisic running with the ball. Lovely play from Perisic. Bang. Looks to play in Salah, who's got pace to burn. It's all about this touch. It's a lovely touch. Keep going, Salah. They're not going to catch you. Oh, Salah. Oh, Salah. Oh, Salah. Salah. Oh, my God. Salah is top notch. Forget Quadrado. It's all about the Egyptian. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's decided to score an own goal. I mean, that's really big of you, mate. Well done. You've really less embarrassed yourself there. There's the final whistle. Come on. 6-1. Lovely. Man of the match, obviously, for Salah. He got two goals. Backer Jovino Pjanic got the other three. Obviously, there was an own goal as well. Uh, assist for Perisic. Two for Jovino. One for Radu. But we know Salah had a hand in a lot of goals that game. And that means we've got seven points halfway through the division, which is enough to stay up if we did it again for the next five games. But uh, not the sort of form that's going to win promotion. Right then, before we play our third and final game of the episode, let's spin this wheel again. Here we go. We have got 11,619 coins now. We're doing well for the old coinage. Those, uh, those packs of which we quick sold a lot obviously helped inflate that coin bank account. What are we going to get now? Last spin of the wheel of the episode is going to give us what is it going to be? A pink slips match. 
Let's do this. Okay, for this pink slips match, we're going to use my La Liga squad. In CDM, we've got probably one of the standout players this entire series so far. He's only played four games, but he scored three goals, one of which was an unbelievable free kick. CDM is Trashorash or Trashorash. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, we've obviously got Inform Gamero as well. We've got Immobile. We've got lovely centre-back partnership of Laporte and Mathieu. Danny Alves at right back. I'm excited to use these boys. It's been a while. Let's see if we can get a win and get ourselves a player in the pink slip situation. Okay, my opponent is going to be Gad Hilas. He's got an Inform... Oh, it looks like it's an all-Brazilian squad, actually. Yes, it is. Bernard up front. Tyson, I can see in there. Alex Teixeira. Firmino. Okay, Perez at right back. Castan at centre back. Brazilians. Let's take him down. Roberto Firmino's going to hit a free kick in for him. Oh, he's done a little bit of tomfoolery, which has worked well. We need to clear the ball better, lads. Come on. Clear it properly. Clip. Wow. That was close. Danny Alves. Down the line. Bang. For Gamero. Gamero does very well indeed. Kevin Gamero. Yes. Kevin. Hit that. Gamero! Oh, what a goal. That is an individual goal if I ever saw one. He picked the ball up. Did a couple of guys and banged it in the upper echelons. Yes. Look at this. I mean, it was just absolute mugging off dot com. Get there, kind of Planka. Play it. Down the line. For Immobile. Here we go. Chiro. Lovely touch. You're going to whip it in? What are you going to do? Oh, lovely. Immobile. Put it in. There's the ball. Hit it. Oh, my God. Ibora, you've got to put that away. All right, I've made some subs. We've brought it on Bufuma and uh, Vidal on the right-hand side as well. Oh, no. Keeper's come out. He's not made it. Oh, you're kidding me. He scored from that angle. You should not be getting beaten at your near post like that to stay good. Unacceptable, son. Play it. Here we go. Play it. Bang. Yes. One more. Bang. Bafuma's got so much pace. Run with it, Bafuma. I back you here. I back you, Bafuma. I back you. Put it back in for someone. Not a good ball. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. We score the easiest goal ever. Was it Gamero again? I think it might have been. Two goals for inform Kevin Gamero. Great play and great pace from Bafuma. The ball in wasn't great, but it was good enough in that corridor of uncertainty that it set up his strike partner. Get in. There's the final whistle. We turned a potential draw into a win there late in the game. That's lovely. Kevin Gamero gets man of the match there, obviously with his two goals. Assists from Ibora and Danny Alves. I'm not sure how uh, Ibora or who assisted that last goal. I thought it was Bufuma's pass that led to the spin in the box. But anyway, they've given it to them, boys, and I'm happy. That win puts us on 10 points, which means we've got four games to get just two points to secure our place in the division. We can still get promoted. We just need three wins from our last four, or two wins and two draws. And as it was a pink slips match and I won the game, I get to take one of their players. Now, I'm looking at Castan, their Brazilian centre-back. I think he's going to improve our Serie A squad, so I'm going to take him. Welcome to the club, son. Okay, guys, well, now we've reached the end of the episode. It's time to tell you more about our sponsors. And if you want to learn more about making and editing your own YouTube videos or a variety of other skills to get your new year off to a flyer, lynda.com are offering an amazing 10-day free trial. Now, if you do want to learn more about editing, for example, one particular course which could be really useful for you guys is their Adobe Premiere course. I personally use Premiere to edit. They've also got courses for all the other different editing softwares. So that's a good one to try out if you want to learn more about making videos. Now, once you've signed up to lynda.com, you can access over 4,000 different courses and over 100,000 different tutorials. You can watch and learn from upper echelon teachers who are passionate about their subject. And you can learn as little or as much as you would like. They have entire courses that will make you an expert, or you can search for very specific info within any given subject. And one of the best things about it is all these courses and tutorials are available on your mobile and your tablet as well, so you can take your learning with you wherever you go. And maybe it's not video editing you want to learn about. Perhaps you want to become a master of Excel, or you want to learn more about the art of negotiation. Perhaps even improve your Photoshop skills, whatever it is. Go to lynda.com forward slash Spencer FC to access your 10 day free trial. That's lynda.com forward slash Spencer FC. Make sure you use that link so they know I sent you. But that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing.